Yo, what is good, fellas? Hope you boys all had a fantastic day. We got a lot to talk about when it comes to Madden 25. Now, as always, if you boys are new around here, we do post videos just like this one literally every single day. So if you guys like this video, you find it helpful or for whatever reason, you guys really like me. Odds are each and every single one of you is in the right place. Now, when it comes to updates on every single issue, glitch, problem, thing that EA has just screwed up on over the last few weeks, the biggest issue, rookie premieres and ultimate alumni, seems like it's been solved for the most part. Now, for me personally, I always like to show you guys my current standing when it comes to ultimate alumni and rookie premieres. Now, I only completed two rookie premiere sets in Madden 24, while you guys saw three on my account. Yeah, EA was giving out extra rookie premieres and ultimate alumni all morning. I don't know why they did this. I don't know how I ended up with three, but you guys see my three selections, Jaden Daniels, Terry and Arnold, and JC Latham. Honestly, in my opinion, probably the best three to go with. You could also pick Roe Meduse over Jaden Daniels. I personally am a diehard Commanders fan, so it was kind of an easy selection for me with going with JD. Also do run the Commanders theme team, so the times to Team Chem is definitely a bonus there. Now, something else they decided to do for me that I don't really know what I did to deserve this EA, but they gave me two Puka Naku. Was. Now, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with this. I'm gonna probably keep it on my item binder as like a joke, but yeah, I have two B and D 84 overall Puka Nakua's. Now, I am not complaining because how long did it take me to get these damn cards? Way too long, but they are on my account, and hey, it only took them like what? three weeks too long. But at the end of the day, for the majority of us, hopefully you guys watching this video do have everything you guys were, I guess, deserving when it comes to these make rights. I also did make my ultimate alumni selection. I ended up going with Saquon Barkley. Now, Madden 25 is very interesting. And when I mean interesting, I mean super annoying. How many times do your guys' running backs fumble, like, just out of the blue? And it's because of the damn new fatigue, boom tech, the cool thing they introduced this year also kills your running back. So having a deep running back room, having not even deep, having two decent running backs, very usable or not very usable, very, it's something you guys should be doing. I personally was using the season one CMC for way too long. Figured, you know what? Let's get a, you know, an upgrade and also still continue to use that CMC. So far, it's been really good for me working out really well and definitely something I recommend you guys doing, whether that be picking Saquon Barkley as your ultimate alumni or just having two running backs that you guys cycle through. Trust me, the fumbles are just so annoying. Now, we actually have other issues to talk about today, believe it or not. First things first when it comes to other issues, this one absolutely blows. It's in champs. If you guys watched my video last night, the update video, we talked about champs. Now, I actually finished my champs first time all year. Let's go me. But there was a big issue this weekend where if you completed a full champs game, win or loss, it just didn't count. Champs games take so much time. The fact that I was sitting there grinding and sweating through champs, I'm sure a lot of you guys had a very similar experience, and then you would back out, the game would be over, you'd get that win, and you know, our opponent wouldn't leave the game, and the game would just finish off, and you would see your updated stats just did not update, and very frustrating at the end of the day, there's nothing EA can do, I can say though, this has been fixed, at least for me, I have played through a few more champs games, all the way through, and it actually did update, but this weekend, Friday, Saturday, whew, I am, it, it was really interesting. I don't know why that glitch happened or why wins don't track to begin with and why it only happens during certain time periods and then why EA says absolutely nothing about it. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. We ended up getting done with our champs, but I'm sure a lot of you guys got wins that didn't track. Just like myself, just want to throw that in there. For those of you who call me a menu merchant, I actually can play this game, but very frustrating, hopefully something we don't have to deal with going forward, but again, it's EA, so we'll have to deal with it. Now, head-to-head -head ranked, I'm officially throwing in the towel, I don't want to play this game mode. The Kyle Pitts, though, is really good, I've said this for the past, like, two weeks, that whenever we get this Kyle Pitts card, the champion ranked reward, he is going to be really good. Now, we did see AKAs revealed, we'll take a look at them in a few minutes, it was Gronk, and... Seeing that Gronk and the Gronk that is the set piece Gronk, very disappointing. The Kyle Pitts that you can get for free is significantly better, and 
it's actually making me want to come in here and grind through head-to-head -head rank. Now, we do have 8 days, 16 hours, and 39 minutes. So, am I going to come in here and probably do this? No. But if you have time, if you want to grind head-to-head -head ranked and you need a new tight end, I highly recommend coming in here and grinding through this. And that Kyle Pitts card is going to be absolutely disgusting. Now, other things going on this weekend in Madden 25. Other things that happened this weekend, the big one that was like during this weekend was we had an MCS ladder play. It was very controversial because a lot of people didn't have their rookie premieres. A lot of people still don't have their rookie premieres. I went on Twitter, scrolled through a little bit more while I was recording this video. Yeah, a lot of people are still missing things. If you guys have things, I guess you are pretty lucky. But there was MCS. Now, if you guys played through that MCS, you will get a free Most Feared pack. Now, I don't think you're going to get that Most Feared pack soon. I think you'll get it when Most Feared actually goes live. And by the time that goes live in like, I don't know, a month basically, are you going to remember if you did that? I don't know. I also don't know if you'll even get it just knowing how EA tracks. It was a really weird pack to guarantee that far in advance. Can EA even handle that? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see though. But staying on the topic of most feared, we know that season three is going to be the most feared season. We can use things in this game to kind of predict that most feared will start October 16th or 17th. Whenever we get the season three field pass, we know this because we got a season ticket or season token saying that season three, here's your XP. It also said it's the most feared season. Now this is great. I love the holiday season of mud. If you guys have never played through a holiday season of mud, so most feared harvest zero chill, I guess we'll throw in blitz. That's just a money grab. But if you guys haven't played through those months of mud, it is the best time of the year. Content is great you know, different game modes, packs are usually a little bit better, the names we get, the cards we get, Madden is really locked in, Presents also gonna throw that in there, hopefully this year Presents are better. We got a lot of good things to actually look forward to when it comes to, I guess, the future of Mutt. So one thing I've been seeing a lot down in my comment section, people tweeting at me is, should I go out there and spend all my coins? Honestly, no. We're getting a bunch of 88s right now. We're getting a bunch of 89s right now. I don't think it is necessarily required to go out there and build an absolute god squad pre-holiday mutt season. Think back to last year. Think back to, not, I don't even want to say the most feared promo. We are thinking really far ahead here, but zero chill. Zero chill theme teams were by far one of the sweatiest, best theme teams for months. And yes, it cost you guys a lot of coins, but... It was absolutely disgusting. I would not be shocked if we saw a Most Feared theme team. Now, obviously, Most Feared is about a month away. It's, like I said, going to come out October 17th, most likely. But it's going to be one of the best theme teams in the game. But when things are the best, they do cost you guys a lot of coins. Now, we have seen a lot of really, really good cards come into the game over the last few days. Devon A. Chain, the Dalton Kincaid, Jordan Love, Joey Porter Jr., Charles Woodson, a lot of really, really good players, minus Charles Woodson. I don't know if it's worth picking up every single one of these cards and then just building an absolute god squad. If you can manage with your 85, 86, 87 overall team, I don't think you need to go out there and pick up all of these 88s right now. And again, if you're an absolute mutt gajillionaire, go buy the best team in the game. It doesn't really apply to you. But for those of you who like to think ahead and like to see what's coming next, I think we will see a most feared theme team and it should be just gross. And if it seems like it's a little bit too early to start talking about, you know, most feared in the holiday mutt season, it is, but it is probably, it isn't, it, no, it is. It is by far the best time of the year when it comes to mutt. So we're going to talk about it today because I am definitely excited for it. Now, kind of focusing on what's coming now more than what's coming in like a month, two months, three months down the line, content schedule should be live tomorrow at noon. I will have that portion of a, you know, going over the content schedule all over my AKA video. We are getting AKAs tomorrow as well. We'll talk about those cards here in a few I don't know what this week's content schedule is going to look like. Now, we did do my content predictions. I also am recording this video a you know, about 6.30, so before 7 p.m., if we do see any 7 p.m. content, it will be live over on my community tab. The only 7 p.m. content reveal I think we could see is potentially Hispanic Heritage Month cards, but at the end of the day, those cards won't be that game-breaking, I'm assuming, so... I figured it was safe to record this video and then go watch Sunday Night Football and, you know, go touch grass. But if they're absolute studs, I'm sorry, we'll talk about them tomorrow morning. Now, rest of the week, though, besides Monday, aka is in a potential new promo, Her Hispanic Heritage Month. 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, nothing. Wednesday, we will see Team of the Week. What is going to go on with Team of the Week? I don't know. Now, I don't want to talk about Team of the Week that much because we have been talking about it a lot. I know a lot of you guys are getting frustrated with the way I talk about Team of the Week, so we'll move on to that one. Again, though, we'll see what EA does with our feedback. Now, I also got another Ultimate Alumni Fantasy Pack that we can rip open right here. Thursday should be Breakouts Part 2. I don't know what we're going to see regarding Breakouts Part 2. Muttleaks hasn't really tweeted anything else out. One thing I will, you know, guarantee we're getting is more solo challenges. So if you guys do want to stay ahead of the curve, make sure you guys are grinding through your solo challenges. You guys can see here, my solos have not moved since last night, but I promise you they will be done for the rest of the night. Another thing that kind of has to do with solo challenges, kind of doesn't have to do with solo challenges, your free AKA player. Now we're going to go take a look at these AKA cards. I honestly still think it's worth holding on to that token pack. I don't love any of the cards we saw. Um, They're cool, you know, Harrison Smith, Gronk, but... I think we are going to see significantly better cards. And if you don't need one of those positions and you don't, like, want to necessarily be locked into a Rob Gronkowski with 85 speed for the foreseeable future, I would continue to hold on to that token pack. Now, whenever we see an 88 overall defensive back that is solid from the AKA promo, that is when I'm going to pounce. That is when I'm going to spend my free token pack. But for right now, what we've seen so far... We saw a safety, but like Harrison Smith is cool, but like look at my safeties right now. You guys can see I got Paul Krause and then I got Sean T. I really don't have a reason to bite on that card, but I ne we need defensive backs. Now we did see Night Train Lane and the fact that Night Train Lane was the last drop before overall increase absolutely sucks. I'm not saying the card is bad whatsoever. Card is an absolute strap. But I don't want to spend my free token pack on an 87 when we have 88s in the game. And that would honestly be what you guys should probably do too. So if tonight seems like a major yap sesh, it is totally a major yap sesh. There is not really much to actually go off of on Sundays. We saw no content. It's kind of my favorite time to make these videos though. Because we can literally take these wherever we want. Especially when we don't have mutt leaks to go over. So, yeah. And if there's anything you guys want me to cover in these Sunday videos, I post them every single night at 8 p.m. Drop it down in the comment section. I'll make sure to write it down and go over it. Fellas, these videos are for you guys. I want to make these as beneficial to you guys and to exactly what you guys want to see. So again, anything you guys want to see, drop it down in the comment section. I'll make sure to have it in tomorrow's episode. So that's everything regarding yap sesh, problems, issues, just things going on in mutt. Now on to my favorite time of the night, market talk. First things first, Joey Porter Jr., Jordan Love. Jordan Love has continued to go down in price. Now, whenever he gets pulled out of packs, which I believe is today, his price should slowly continue to increase. So if you want to pick up Jordan Love, 1.4, 1.3 honestly is not a terrible price. Like 1.32, I can honestly get behind. He is the best quarterback in the game. Me personally, no chance am I ever spending that much on one card. But if you want Jordan Love, right now is a great time to pick him up. When it comes to the other breakout LTD, Joey Porter Jr., this card should not be 2.1 million. The fact that he is absolutely geek so taking a look at his stats right here yes you can boost up his speed plus one that is great he is still slower than Tyreek Hill Tyreek Hill is cheaper yes he plays receiver yes he plays DB but objectively Tyreek Hill is going to burn Joey Porter do you want to spend 2.1 million coins on an 88 89 speed defensive back when he's still going to get the same effect on from the best wide receiver in the game, I don't think so. If you guys are using this card, I would recommend selling him. I don't know how much cheaper he gets, how much more expensive he gets. That price point is very hard to tell. But if you can sell him for like 2.5 mil, I would, I would get on that. Same thing with Charles Woodson. Major disappointment. Charles Woodson is one of the Madden goats in the fact that his card is just eh. And selling for 2.1 million, absolutely just brutal i will say the only reason this card is super expensive is because of the packs and the special offers we saw with the legend promo yesterday we spent way too much time talking about that yesterday so we won't go over that again today but just know i don't think charles woodson gets cheaper until we see better defensive backs and when i mean better i mean 90 speed consistently dropping christian gonzalez is currently selling for a price point of clicked on the wrong gonzalez classic but 
yeah, he is still a sell. Now, honestly, if you did manage to go 6 or 10 and 0 in the gauntlet, I would wait until like Wednesday to actually sell off this card when there's he's basically extinct. Wait till the gauntlet's done, sell him off. He's not worth 2.4 million even. Don't buy him, but if you have him, please sell him off. Now, onto the 88 overall breakout cards. For the most part, these cards are going to continue to drop. You guys can see Devon A Chain actually being 410,000 coins is kind of interesting. Now, we did talk this afternoon about how to make coins, what's the best coin making method. And if you guys did watch that video, uh, Dalton Kincaid and Jahari Brown are two perfect candidates to build as sets. Now, obviously, you have to snipe the lower overall players, but there are coins to be made on both Kincaid and Jahari Brown. Shockingly enough, though, Devon A. Chain is the cheapest of the bunch. It's not because he's bad. He probably is the best. It's just because everybody wants the card. Tyreek McAllister, card sucks. Sell him off. He doesn't suck, but it's, it's a, you know, 88 overall LTD wide receiver who nobody has ever heard of with 87 speed. He's also five foot nine. Get rid of that card, sell him off, take your 748,000 coins and get out of there. Same thing with Tony Jefferson. Now we will see better safeties drop. We are getting one today or tomorrow with AKA. So Tony Jefferson's price will continue to drop if for somehow, some way you can pull a milli off him tonight. Good for you. But worst case, I would take my 919k and just get out of that card. Tyree Kill. This card should continue to get more expensive, especially because of what AKAs we got. I wasn't expecting us to get another drop of wide receiver AKAs, but I was expecting Gronk to be faster. The fact that his AKA LTD only has 87 speed kind of makes Tyree Kill significantly more valuable. It just makes him rare. And the fact that he has 90 speed, he's one of two cards to have 90 speed. I think he might be the only one that has base 90 speed just looking back up here. So... Yeah, he's going to continue to get more expensive. I don't want to tell you guys to buy a card selling for 1.4 million, 1.5 million coins, but if you want him, he's not going to get any cheaper. Mark Astro has been sitting at this price. Joey Bosa, same thing here. Wiggins and Xavier Worthy. The fact that Xavier Worthy is still more expensive than Tyreek Hill makes no sense to me. Madden Economy 101. What am I looking at? Caleb Williams, back up above 600,000 coins. Fellas, if you guys listened to me three nights ago, he was selling for about 500k. Back up to 620. Still a good buy. He's probably the second best quarterback, third best quarterback in the game. So definitely a solid addition there to your squad. 600k though. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what he does here. His price could go up to about 750. I could see midweek. If you can pick one up for under 600k with the intention to sell later, I don't hate the play there. Wes Welker, 343. He will continue to get more expensive as we get further away from Saturday's legends. Michael Vick. I have my final, you know, my final conclusion on this Vick card. The free season two Michael Penix is basically Michael Vick, but free. So at the end of the day, if you're using Michael Vick, you really like Michael Vick, sell off your Michael Vick and go use Michael Penix. They have the same first name. They both throw the ball lefty. They both play for the Falcons and they're both fast. So that's what I would do. Now, Tony G, I hopefully, hopefully you guys listened when I told you guys to sell him and he was selling for like one point whatever million coins. He's now 900K on a good day. He's going to continue to drop when Kyle Pitts is available to the mask population. Luke Keekley, he's actually gone up a little bit over the last few days. Now, I don't know what he will do when we get better middle linebackers but for right now i honestly don't hate the sell and that she's like a tyrell dodson budget stud ricky williams yeah we're not, it's not worth it just use your free saquon barkley your free cmc your even your free jonathan brooks i would rather use over 900,000 coins on ricky williams jason taylor is an interesting card now jason taylor is interesting because one his price point is really good and two he gets a lot of really good theme teams. What I mean, like, he all three of his theme teams he fits on are top 10. So, Jason Taylor, oddly good. And the fact that the theme teams are now 20 out of 20 instead of 50 out of 50, yeah, Jason Taylor should be on a lot of people's fields. Now, he will continue to get more expensive as we get further away from the weekend. He will easily be 450 to 500,000 coins 
come Wednesday, Thursday of this week. So if you want to pick up Jason Taylor for one of those three, three theme teams, I would get on that right away. Uh, taking a look down here at Team of the Week. Team of the Week is going to be interesting to see exactly what happens. Now, these Team of the Week cards have continued to get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. My coin making method is absolutely fried, but we did make some good coins. I don't know what's going to happen with Team of the Week on Wednesday. Hopefully, we get packs back in the game. That would be cool, but if we don't, these cards will skyrocket back up, so... Kind of a risky investment if you guys want to build some Kylers or pick up Kylers and Aiden Hutchinson's for cheap. I don't, I, I'm not personally going to do it, but I could see a world if we don't get Team of the Week packs. Those cards skyrocket way back up on Wednesday. Campus Heroes, they suck. AKAs, let's talk about them. Every single one of these AKA cards, LTD or non-LTD, is going to go down in price tomorrow simply because we are getting the overall increase. So Darius Slay will no longer be 1.2 million coins. Kyle Juszczyk, he might honestly be 600,000 coins because nobody wants this card. I swear, it's the same same one guy relisting his Kyle Juszczyk for 850k because nobody wants him. I'm kidding, but like... A very very bad investment joe coleco going to tank tomorrow night train lane will be 300,000 coins tomorrow bold take but i think it's gonna hit you could potentially pick up a tyreek hill for like 225,000 coins tomorrow these cards are going to get absolutely fried now gronk is a big name but his card isn't crazy you know depending on what glowing x factors he does get that could make or break this aka drop potentially these cards get, could get lower than I'm predicting, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now, game time players, I think this is where we're going to wrap it up after Legends, but these cards are all buys. They will continue to get cheaper the further and further away we get from them being the last 87 overall drop. So come next Thursday, I could see a world where every single one of these cards is under 300,000 coins. Javon Holland is probably going to be my buy of the night. I mean, an 88 speed free safety. That's legit. Also being 6'1", 210 pounds. If you guys do run a mostly man, or zone scheme, he cannot play man coverage, zone scheme, this card should be on every single one of your teams. Also having Dolphins theme team. Dolphins is one of the best right now. Yeah, this card's legit. And then coming down here quickly and taking a look at some 87 overall legends. Yeah, these cards are absolutely fried. Every single one of these is a buy. Now, I don't know if they continue to get cheaper throughout the week, but I don't see a world in where Charles Haley is back up to like 450k. I would buy him like tonight, maybe tomorrow morning if you are planning on picking up any of Charles Haley, Reggie Wayne, Sean Taylor, honestly, any of the legends from the last few weekends. They're probably the cheapest they'll be right now. Marshall Falk is a good value card, believe it or not. 200,000 coins for an 87 speed halfback. I'm, I'm all here for it. That's everything we got over here. Let's take a look over on Twitter so we can see everything we got coming tomorrow. Yeah, so here are tomorrow's AKAs. We've talked about pretty much the entire video like I've already showed them to you guys, but they are pretty solid. Gronk's coming in with 77 run blocking, which is actually pretty solid for a tight end. For whatever reason this year, EA decided to not give tight ends run blocking. He's also coming in at 87 speed, 86 catch, 88 catch in traffic. 90 short route running and 87 medium. I mean, for a limited time card, this is pretty solid. Now, the fact that we haven't seen a tight end faster than 87 speed kind of is like why I was really hoping they were going to juice this Gronk card out, at least the LTD version. Now, we don't know what glowing X factors he gets yet. For whatever reason, Mutt Leaks was nerfed when it comes to AKAs, so we don't know quite yet. Hopefully, we will know later. We also will know when these cards do go live, so it's not like we have to wait that much longer. But, AKA LTD Gronk. Now, his regular edition card, I'm um, like, what am I looking at? Best part about this card, 80 run blocking. That is honestly the only really nice thing I have to say about it. He just kind of looks like another shit, another mid tight end that we just like have pretty much been seeing throughout the entirety of this game so far 85 speed 83 strength 88 catch in traffic 89 spec 88 short 85 medium now like i just said for the ltd gronk we don't know what his glowing x factors are going to be also 80 run blocking is one of the higher run blockings we have seen on a tight end so far but why didn't they juice up the ltd version again i don't know also card art fantastic as always the card art is the best part about you know this game so far now, the other player we got, Hitman Harrison Smith. This card 
is actually very good. First things first, 90 hit power, 88 zone coverage. He also has 80 man, 87 speed, 88 tackle. He is very, very good. Now, am I going to use my free token pack on him? I'm not. I don't think you guys should either. Strong safety is not really a depth position. We also have very good strong safeties in the game. Now, Harrison Smith will probably be one of the better ones. He actually might be the best strong safety come tomorrow. He is better than Tony Jefferson, but we have a lot of good free safeties. We also have a lot of good strong safeties that are a tier under Harrison Smith, where I don't think it's necessarily worth using your free token player pack on. So at the end of the day, my final thoughts on these AKA cards. Honestly, kind of disappointing with the Gronkowskis. Harrison Smith is good, but strong safety, not really a position in need for most people's teams. Hopefully though, we do see another corner drop with AKAs. Fellas, corner is the most important position in this game. I am trying to get that across in pretty much every video I make. It is so hard to get a stop. And, you know, EA dropping only super expensive limited time corners is not helping the average Madden player's case. Fellas, that is everything we got tonight. As always, I appreciate every single one of you who have obviously, you know, enjoyed the video you made it this far. So again, just wanted to say thank you. You guys are all absolutely goaded. If you guys did make it this far, clearly you guys did enjoy the video. So why don't you go down there, drop a like and comment the goat emoji because that is exactly what every single one of you guys are. That is everything we got tonight though. I will catch you boys tomorrow with the best free AKI player to pick. And then AKAs are live. Until then though, have a great day. I'll catch you boys later. Peace boys, have a good one.